One of the more subtle characteristics of digitalization are so-called positive network externalities. But as subtle as it is, as the more it has very far-reaching consequences. Shapiro and Varian, both at the time professors at the University of California at Berkeley, wrote a seminal book, which is called Information Rules, which is a game of words between rules of information and information rules, where they talked a lot about the important role of network externalities. So let's define it first. They said, when the value of a product to one user depends on how many other users there are, economists say that this product inhibits network externalities or network effects. Usually these network externalities or network effects are negative. That means that the value of a product decreases with the number of people using it. So for example, you have an apple and you have to share the apple less apple is left for everybody involved. Then you have three people or four people trying to have a bite of the apple. There's even less apple left over for everybody. So the value of the product decreases with the number of people that use it. So these are negative network externalities. Now information networks exhibit positive network externalities. That means that the value of the product increases the more people use it. Now this is something very difficult to wrap your mind around if you're a traditional economist because usually economics are governed by the law of scarcity. Uh, more people, less left over, negative network externalities. So, so how can you think about that? So for example, think about Mr. Bell when he had the first telephone. Did it have a lot of value for him? Well, not really because there was nobody he could call, right? Now, Mr. Watson, his assistant, had the second telephone, and there they already could make two phone calls. This phone to this phone, and this phone to this phone. So that was valuable. Then came the third telephone. Now they could already make six phone calls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when the fourth telephone was connected to this network, how many phone calls were possible? Twelve phone calls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And when the fifth phone was connected, how many phone calls were possible? 20 phone calls. That means the number of possibility increased much faster than the number of no, it's number of people in the network. And that gives a lot of value for everybody in the network. The formal formula goes like this. So you have the number of nodes, x, and the number of degrees, the number of possible phone calls, grows with x squared minus x. The minus x is because it doesn't create a lot of value to call yourself. Uh, that's the formula. So it grows in an exponential logic, actually. And this creates these impressive positive network externalities. Now, for many online services, network externalities, that's what you want to go for. Because network externalities make the difference between one of many apps or being the app. Because if you go over this threshold, then everybody wants to be in your network because it's exponentially more valuable to be in this network. You have so many more possibilities to communicate with so many other people. That's why people want to be in social networks where everybody else already is. And when you as a social network provider achieve this position, then you basically have a almost like a monopoly position where you cement your leadership and it's exponentially harder for others to kick you off the throne. Doesn't mean that it's impossible. For example, famously, Facebook kicked MySpace from the throne of social networks. But these examples are so famous because this is the exception. The rule is that network externalities really cement you in this leadership position. And that's why some social networks are also so much more valuable than others. Not because they have a much better software. It's just the number of people. You just have a couple of more people, exponentially more possibilities, exponentially more valuable. So that's the, the importance of network externalities. Now that you understand network externalities, have a look at this video of one of our guest lecturers, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, and try to think about what is the basic motivation behind the ambitions of Facebook that are presented in this video.